uh, was July the 31st, uh, 1966. We'd run a race at uh, Nashville, Tennessee on Saturday night. And uh, I think me, David Pearson, and uh, Wendell Scott jumped on a little plane and they flew us back to uh, Danville. And uh, so we'd go down to the racetrack, never seen the race car, didn't know none of the people, never been in a, on a road course in my life. You know, any of that kind of stuff. And uh, so uh, I think we went out and practiced a little bit. Uh, David didn't even make it through practice. He crashed his car before the race even started. And uh, so, you know, we had a, a Plymouth Barracuda and uh, was running against, I guess, Mustangs or whatever. And uh, so, you know, we start the race. It's one of the, I think it was a three hour race or something. I suppose to drive a while. I think they had another driver to drive the car. And uh, so, anyhow, jumped in there and I go racing with these guys. And uh, I think I spin out two or three times, get stuck up. I think I run, you know, 10 or 12 laps or something, finally got stuck up or tore the car up all to pieces. But I was trying to keep up with the Mustangs. And when I finally got out of the car, I was doing, I thought, pretty good job keeping up with them. Well, they was, they were like a second and a half faster than what the Barracuda was. They didn't tell me that. They just told me to go out and race. And uh, so anyhow, I wound up uh, not finishing the race. And, you know, that was, you know, at that particular time, uh, the racetrack was way out in the woods and all this stuff and trees around it. So you would run through the trees and all that stuff. And, you know, uh, I don't really remember that much of the racetrack. Uh, I knew that, you know, you went by the start finish line and made a right hand turn, <laughs> then went down through the woods, come back around somehow, and come back by the deal. So I, I guess basically it's the same track, I guess, now that it was then. Uh, I think that was after you were going down by the pit stop of where the pits were, there was a hard right hand corner. And, and then I think it went all the way, I think it made a curve. I think it went around and came back. And then there was another corner there that went back to the left. I think I made it to there. I think I, think I wound up running off there two or three times. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. From the time I, I seen it, it was in the woods. Okay, now uh, when I drive in there, it looks like going to a country club. You know, I mean, everything's manicured. The, the track was always okay, but they've cleaned out around the racetrack, got the trees, trees out of the way. Uh, so it's... Uh, like I say, it's like going to a big, sort of like going to Augusta National, more or less. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? They keep up everything. Everything is neat and clean. Uh, the racetrack's still the same, but everything around it, uh, I don't know, it just gives you a different atmosphere uh, from a spectator standpoint, even from a driver standpoint. Uh, it's just it's just like a completely different deal. In other words, it went from 74 to what it is today, you can just sort of throw away all the, everything except the racetrack. Mm -hmm. Everything else is. VR has been really, really good with working with Petty's Garage. Uh, they've been really good with working with uh, Big Rejection Camp for chronicling seriously little kids that we got here in Level Cross. And they've been really, really good at, at helping us be able to, uh, you know, make some money, do some fundraisers, stuff like that up there. So. You know, we really appreciate all the help they've done. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so when they took it over, somebody had a lot of planning uh -huh. way out there. Yeah. They didn't just look at today, they looked on the future. Uh -huh. And they've done a super, super job. It's, it's uh, I guess probably from my standpoint, it's, it's got to be the, the top one or first or second road course that I've been to. As far as going to Watkins Glen, it's the same. You go to uh, Sonoma, it's been... You know, they've done change, but it's still the same thing. You know, uh, the only one I guess that's any, probably any nicer is the one they got in Birmingham. I, I, but that's all brand new stuff. Uh -huh. You know, they spent millions and millions of dollars to to make that a Augusta deal. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, uh -huh. so I'd say the hour is not very far behind that. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, <laughs>